All right, good day, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Happy New Year's Eve. This is Bachlin Clock, and it is officially Bach O'Clock. Welcome, and thank you so much for joining me on this New Year's Eve stream. Let me just go ahead and thank a couple of the followers that have joined us uh, in the time that I've been offline. So, Tiger Pika, Star Drop Marmalade, Alia Phase, Miss Charlotte Sampson, S Max Hamster, thank you so much for following, and I really appreciate that. And just hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all are doing nice and cozy on this New Year's Eve. Bringing out 2020 in style, in safeness, in safety, and keeping as isolated as possible. I am currently uh, as isolated as I can be right now. One of my roommates has uh, been diagnosed with COVID. So I am currently waiting on the results of a test, um, but I'm in good health. I'm in good spirits. Um, just uh, been making the most of this time off. Been playing the new Yakuza Like a Dragon, um, which uh, I feel like I'm making some good headway in that. But um, yeah, one of these days, maybe I'll put that up on the stream. But today, we are going to be looking at Order of Pizza, a visual novel. Um, this was available on the um, on the itch.io uh, bundle for racial justice and equality um, that came out uh, back during the beginning of the summer, which has been just an amazing deal so far. Um, there's like 59 pages of games that I've been looking through, and uh, this one this one caught my eye. And if you take a look. There's a bunch of endings that are available. Um, I just uh, I just booted it up just to fit around with the settings, but I have not started this yet. And this game is from Rocket Adrift. And the synopsis uh, is, you know, you're trying to get your kid the perfect pizza so that they don't hate you. And um, well, let's see how far we can get in that today. Let's see how many endings we can scoop up before I gotta go get myself some something to uh, something to eat as well. Well, let's go ahead and fire it up, Margo. So, how's school, Abby? Fine, I guess. So, are we ordering this pizza or what? Okay, so right right in it. Okay, there is a uh, pair a pair lap uh, laptop. That's pretty fun Well, what do you want on the pizza? I'll have whatever you guys want, okay Do you have any dietary restrictions? Oh, you know the one major one what, is she like paleo or something? No, no, nothing like that. Okay, so, uh, I guess this is from my POV. I am, uh, the, I guess I'm the dad trying to figure out a pizza, uh, for, for my family. And we're gonna have to make sure that we get all the right dietary restrictions. Like I said, Bookworm Josh, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, we were just uh, we just spent uh, a little bit of time streaming your music under Smooth Taka, and uh, thank you for that. It has been uh, a wonderful start to the stream. And today we are playing Order of Pizza from Rocket Adrift Games. Uh, I just started, just got thrown right into the thick of it, and. Um, we're just trying to, we are a dad trying to figure out what sort of pizza to get for our family. Like I said, whatever you and Abby want. Okay, honey. All right, so let's see. Let's see what's on the fridge. Drawing. A picture Abby drew in kindergarten. Photo. Oh, there's a pizza in there. A photo of me and Abby. Feel like I'm missing something. A report card? Abby's report card. 
bad at math, just like your dad. Yeah, yeah, you know, that actually uh, follows true to life uh, as well. Uh, wasn't the best of that in school either. Let's see what's going on on the board. A receipt. A receipt from the pharmacy. It's for Margot's allergy medication. For reactions to jalapenos. Okay, that's the big one for Margot. No jalapenos for her. All right, we got that down. Note. A note from Margot reminding me to call my ex-wife. Okay, so Margot is, uh, I guess, my girlfriend or my new spouse. I don't know if Abby is... Uh, I don't know if she is Abby's stepmom or uh, or a biological mom, but we'll find out as we keep on going. Yeah, what is today? Margot got me this calendar. She marks important dates, appointments, and the weekends I have Abby. She's much more organized than I am. Okay, well, let's see what Abby wants. What do you want on the pizza? Oh, uh, you know, the usual. But I'm not sure about your girlfriend, considering I don't really know her. <sighs> What's the usual again? I can't believe you forgot the usual. But I guess it's easy to forget when you're spending so much time with your new girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> Loaded up with jalapenos, the weak eaters must be eliminated. Ooh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see uh, how long uh, how long we can handle that. You know, me personally, I I used to love spicy food. I used to love a lot of spicy stuff, but nowadays, as time marches on, my stomach has been angrier and angrier with me. Um, so I myself have become quite a weak eater, but. I'll tough it out. I'll tough it out if I got a couple of days off ahead of me so I can just uh, hang out on the toilet. Yeah. Margo, I've been wanting to meet you for a while now, Abby. I've just been waiting for your father to pick a good time. Uh huh. Okay, sweetie. Let's. How do I order the pizza? Let's look out the window. It's 6.30 p.m. on a Friday night. Okay, so I've asked them everything that I could. All right. At the Pablo Esco, thank you for the follow. Thank you for joining us on this New Year's Eve stream. We are streaming Order a Pizza, a visual novel. Um, currently, we're in the middle of figuring out a pizza to get for my girlfriend and my daughter, um, who uh, I have for, uh, I guess, this weekend. This is the first time that, they've, uh, that they're have that they meeting, and uh, it's, a, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit rough right now. And I'm trying to find the right pizza that will make everyone happy, um, so that I don't, so that I don't uh, botch this watch this pizza day want what we usually get okay well there's a photo of Abby she's eating a pizza we are eating a pizza with pepperoni Now, where do I go to order a pizza? That is the main question now. <laughs> well, Anthony, thank you for joining and thank you for uh, sticking around for this New Year's Eve stream while we're trying to figure out how to order a pizza. Menu? Okay, so that doesn't work. Resume. Ah, ah, perfect. There we go. Order a pizza. From Porco's Pizza. Alrighty, let's get some, uh... Let's get some pepperoni. Me, myself, I'm always, uh, a bit particular towards Italian sausage and onions, so we'll throw those on. We'll make sure that there's no jalapenos because, uh, Margo, uh, Margo 
our girlfriend is wildly allergic she needs medication for that so definitely leave that off but you know maybe some green peppers and uh mushrooms you know let's make this a supreme let's make this something that everyone can enjoy let's order this margo dies from eating the pizza i can't believe she has she had an extreme case of celiac disease holy crap holy crap did i botch that <laughs> The doe killed her. Abby was horrified. The last time I saw her was the ambulance ride with Margot. She never talked to me again. <laughs> I live the rest of my life knowing that I made an irreparable mistake with that pizza. Okay. I could have prevented all of this. <laughs> so, how's school, Abby? <laughs> wow, I just zapped this right back in. Okay. Fine, I guess. Are we ordering this pizza or what? Okay, let's start. Let's start this again. <laughs> what do you want on the pizza? It really doesn't matter what I want. I'll have whatever you guys want. Do you have any dietary restrictions? What? Uh I'm sorry, I just had a weird feeling. What, is she like paleo or something? <laughs> Why did I just say that? Not paleo. I have a serious allergy. Yeah, there is one serious allergy. You're uh, the, um, the jalapenos, but you did not mention the celiac. Very rude. Very rude of you to not mention that to me while you're dying. All right, well, okay, honey. Let's see. What do you want on the pizza, Abby? We literally order the same thing every time. You know, the usual. But I'm not sure about your girlfriend, considering I don't really know her. Okay, sweetie. Let's check that board again. Margo's allergy medicine, reactions to jalapeno. Is that her only allergy? No, no, now I remember. She also has a prescription for an EpiPen for a celiac allergy. Wow. Way to forget that one. Me? She can only eat gluten-free crust. Note. A note from Margo reminded me to call my ex-wife. Okay. It's weird how they get along. Okay. Margo has been scheduling my time with Abby for me before she's even met her. Okay, so we're learning new things in this loop. Abby's teachers say she has a lot of potential, but she has problems remembering to do homework and study. Okay. Oh no, we were eating a pizza with pepperoni. Is that what we usually get? Picture Abby drew in kindergarten. She's grown up so fast. She feels like a stranger to me. All right, well, what's the usual again? I knew you'd forget the usual. I guess it's easy to forget. Haven't we already met? Yeah, didn't we already, didn't we already meet when we had to watch my girlfriend die because I, I really donked that pizza. Okay, sweetie. And, uh, serious allergy. Whatever you and Abby want. Okay. Okay, let me open my pair, uh, lap book. So I can order this pizza, please. I honestly don't remember when it opened, uh, uh, in the last loop. Just kind of, just kind of popped up.
Now I remember the pizza place was out of mushrooms. Okay, the usual was pepperoni with mushroom. Okay. There's something. Ah, there we go. Now we can order this pizza. Alright. Let's see. I didn't even see... Oh, okay. So we'll go for a gluten-free crust. I'm still gonna go with a, a nice little Supreme. Uh, you know, really, really dress it up. So we'll get that. Green peppers and onion. Let's let's go with that again now with the gluten-free crust and uh, see where that takes us. Ending level one unlocked. The pizza we ordered went over fine. We even made plans to meet up again, but it never came together. Slowly, a feeling of looming dread hung over my relationships with them. Abby stops listening to me. She falls in with the wrong crowd and we never spoke again. Margo and I went on for a while, but eventually she ended things with me and we never spoke again after. I'm haunted by that pizza years later. What did I do wrong? Everyone seemed happy with the pizza. Okay. <laughs> Are we ordering this pizza or what? Okay. Let's talk to Abby first. What do you want on pizza? Pepperoni and mushrooms. Dad, that's what we always get. Can't anything stay the same? Ugh, never mind. Is it okay if we don't get mushrooms? Well, I want mushrooms, but I guess whatever you- But I guess get whatever you want. Okay, sweetie. What about you, Margo? Let's see, what do you want on the pizza? Didn't really want to say anything, but since you asked, I don't really like mushrooms. Oh, okay. I feel like you're putting me on the spot. Is it okay that we get mushrooms? You do what... You do what feel you have to. I guess I could just pick them off. Okay, honey. That night, Abby showed up to my place and there was nothing to eat. So I acted like it was my plan all along to order pizza and rent some bad movies. I had completely forgotten it was our weekend together. That night, Abby showed up to my place and there was nothing to eat. Okay. My ex-wife and I hadn't seen each other in months and then we had to show up to talk to one of her teachers. When we found out what it was about, my ex-wife looked over at me as if to say, Does any of this sound familiar? Ooh. I remember when Abby drew this. Oh, new clue. When she brought it home from school, her mom was crying upstairs. But I told her it was perfect and hung it up on the fridge anyways. Still not enough to unlock that pizza. When I first met Margo, we hooked up really fast. I didn't know if it would be more than a one night stand. Oh, when I woke up the next morning, she had left a really cute note. Margo thought it was weird that I kept coming up with excuses why she couldn't leave her medication here. Why, could, why can't she leave her medication here? I've never really looked out this window much. This apartment. I didn't think I would be here long. what you feel you have to. Guess I can just pick them. Sorry, you'll have to pick those mushrooms off. Why did you even ask? Ah, okay, so. Let's go ahead and order this pizza. Ah, okay, great. Now we've got half options. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's see.
Oh, I'm just being reminded of the uh nun nun pizza left uh left beef option if you've ever looked that up. I'm probably remembering that wrong, but uh the uh no cheese left beef, one of those. But if you look that up, uh someone put that order in uh on a delivery thing and when they got it, it was just uh it was just a blank crust and um all the little beef crumbles was just sort of scattered about the pizza box which is still one of the most hilarious things to me <laughs> none pizza none pizza left beef that's the right one uh willie okay uh yeah none none pizza left beef one of my favorite memes um unfortunately it looks like i can't uh i can't do that here but let's try and make an order we are currently on our third loop of trying to make this correct pizza for um my girlfriend and daughter for all of us to enjoy so we're gonna need some mushrooms but yeah let's let's see if we can do half half mushrooms uh we'll go all pepperoni and uh let's see Let's try for some, uh, uh, let's see, we'll go with the other half, uh, we'll make it a deluxe on the other half, get that sausage, you get those peppers, and some onions, and a gluten-free crust, and let's see where that takes us. Pizza was a great compromise, but Marco and Abby never seemed to get along, and eventually I just stopped trying to make things work. <laughs> Marco and I broke up a couple weeks later, and Abby got involved with a loser boyfriend that she spent all her time with. I don't get it. I did everything right with that pizza. What was I missing? <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back and figure this out. Uh. Okay. Well, Margo's gone. Fine. I Wait. Are we ordering this pizza or what? Uh oh. Where's Margo? Missing spice. Here, no, here's the thing. Uh, my girlfriend in this, Margo, she is allergic to jalapenos. Um, she also has celiac disease. So in the first loop of this, uh, she died. Even though I had no jalapenos on them. Uh, because we're looking at clues in this, uh, in this setting, and there was a prescription for jalapenos, but, uh, no, uh, nothing listed until the next loop until I suddenly remembered that she needs an EpiPen for her celiac. So, uh, yeah, there's a couple of, uh, endings that we've gone through. But yeah, let's see. After my parents passed, Abby hugged me and stayed up with me all night. That was the that was the clue in that photo. Let's see, I was always a troublemaker in school. I dropped out of high school and did some time in juvie. Sometimes I worry about Abby. Oh, okay. Abby might be going down that same path, huh? We gotta make this pizza work because I need her to do better than me. When the judge asked Abby which parent she wanted to stay with, I knew she would choose her mother. But it still hurt when she did. So, Margo's notes are still here though. But yeah, let's take a look out the window. Is this a dream? <laughs> uh oh, is this a dream? I can't even look, I can't even click on the board anymore. This had very specific uh, notes about my girlfriend. Like, she left a note after uh, we hooked up one night. There's a note for her jalapeno uh, allergy prescription. And the calendar says that, you know, she's been... She's been the one that's been really trying uh, to keep me on the up and up about um, my schedule and about my days with uh, my daughter Abby here. But yeah, let's talk to Abby, see what she wants. Wait, where's Margo? You know, the usual. But I'm not sure about your girlfriend, considering I don't really know her. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where she is right now. <laughs> hmm. 
What? I didn't ask what you wanted. Of course I knew you'd forget. Uh-oh. Looks like the loop is starting to uh, degrade on itself. But I guess it's easy to forget when you spend all your time with your new girlfriend. <laughs> I really enjoy the, the, the cutbacks to uh, the empty couch here. That's fantastic. Uh-huh. Wait, where's... I already told you, I want what we usually get. <laughs> the usual is pepperoni with mushroom, Dad. Yeah, I didn't ask what you wanted. Yes, this is, uh... My new invisible girlfriend. Ah, here we go, now. Now the, uh... Now the, the lap book, the pair of lap book has been unlocked to order this pizza. Okay, well... Let's see. She's not here, so let's do let's just do a usual for uh for just for just me and Abby. We'll get we'll just keep it exactly as she wants and see where we go with this. We'll go with pepperoni. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I now know something is wrong. Am I going crazy? It's as if half my life has just vanished but lingers in fragments of conversation. I can't live my life like this, knowing that half of it is missing. I feel like I've been through this before. I've got to fix this. If only I could get back to the moment I ordered that pizza. I was trying to order the pizza. Okay. All right, she's back. Who's this, who's this in the corner now? Let's get that pizza, honey. Oh, okay. She's more enthusiastic. This is great. Wow, she seems happier. Who's, the, who's this dude? Who's this asshole? Yeah, it is. Looks like we've gone into a Doki Doki uh, Literature Club um, territory. We're going into some uh, weird deconstruction and and uh, shenanigans going on. Trying to get this pizza for for my girlfriend, daughter, and uh, I guess whoever this is. Um, let's talk to Margo first. You see that guy sitting on the kitchen shit on the kitchen sink? Honey? Are you feeling alright? Are you feeling alright? Of course. I feel great. Okay. Abby, there is a strange guy in the apartment. Domino's Domino's Literature Club. Yeah, this is exactly what we've gotten ourselves into, Future Synthetic. Um, so today we are playing Order a Pizza from Future Drift Games. It is a visual novel. It started out as a... Uh, it started out as a simple visual novel trying to get a pizza together for my uh, recent girlfriend and, um, and uh, my daughter. To, to get along together with. Um, so far, we've gotten through a couple of... Uh, we've already gotten a couple of bad endings. The first one being... Didn't know that... Uh, that my girlfriend Margot has celiac in that first loop. Um, she only mentioned that she had, you know, the big allergy, which was um, jalapenos. So I made sure... Uh, so I made sure that... Um, uh, we had no jalapenos there. But, uh, let's see. What are you talking about, Dad? Ah, oh, Willie, that is a perfectly good joke. I'm sad that I didn't, uh, I didn't come up with it either, but, uh, man. None girlfriend left daughter is hilarious. Oh, just as we were talking about that none pizza left beef. Abby? Are you okay? I'm fine, Dad. Everything is great. Okay. I'm not gonna look at that window yet. I'm gonna look at the fridge. When Abby was young, we told each other everything. But I didn't tell her when I got fired. Now every time I see her, something's different about her. A new hair color, a new piercing, a new boyfriend. I showed Abby her first R-rated movie when she was 13. It was so cheesy that I didn't think it would scare her. We laughed so hard at it. She squirted cherry cola out her nose. 
report card. New clue! My first weekends with Abby when I was first on my own. I would buy her new clothes. I would take her to the favor to her favorite restaurant and to the amusement park. Then the money ran out. All right. Oh yeah. Let's uh before we look at that window, let's just take a look. Oh. Okay. So on the main menu, there's an option to look at all the endings unlocked so far, but uh we'll go through that later then. Um let's take a look at the window and uh this this dude right here. Hey. Let's pretend I'm not here. Oh. Let's be cool. Let's be cool, man. So now I gotta figure out what to do to unlock this uh, computer so that we can get this pizza order going. Oh yeah, let's take a look at the board. I missed that one. So let's take a look at the note. Margo had to find out about my divorce through an awkward phone call. My ex-wife called and Margo answered. Oof. I thought we would have a big fight over it, but instead Margo said she was just disappointed I didn't tell her. Somehow it felt worse. I'm also enjoying this like little bit of like, there's like that sinister like baseline that's uh, kind of creeping in the background now. <laughs> Let's see. The receipt. When I was sick with bronchitis, I refused to go to the doctor until I was finally bedridden. Margot dragged me out to the doctor and I was able to get the antibiotics to help me get better. She really cares more about self-care than I do. Calendar. If it wasn't for Margot writing it on the calendar, would I remember when Abby's birthday was? Or our anniversary? Okay. Ah, alright, so we've got those clues unlocked. And uh, let's see if we can order this pizza. Okay, so let's make sure that it's a gluten-free crust so that Margo doesn't die. Let's get pepperoni everywhere because who doesn't love pepperoni? Um, but we'll make sure that mushrooms are only for Abby's half because Margo doesn't like it. Uh, I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna make the other half a little bit more deluxe, like how I usually do. Sausage, peppers, onions, no jalapenos, we know that's gonna kill her. You know what, let's make it, let's make this extra meaty on that other side. Let's throw in some bacon crumble. Let's see where that takes us. Margo and Abby are broken. I think I broke them. I know I've been through this before. What is happening? Who is that strange teenager in my apartment? I see him everywhere. Is this, is this boy responsible for this, or was it the pizza? <laughs> He's just synthetic, yeah, it feels like you'll summon a demon or something if you order the wrong combinations of toppings with that baseline. <laughs> Where's the pineapple? Ooh. <laughs> pineapple pizzas in chat. You know, I gotta, I, I will say, I don't, absolutely hate pineapples on my pizza, but I have to be in a very sp specific mood. And usually, I'm not the one that's uh, ordering the pizza if it ends up with pineapples on there. Mainly it's because uh, I'm from Hawaii, and I also really dislike uh, the fact that it's called a Hawaiian. But um, you know what? If uh, if we got more, more change on that, I'd be... Uh, <laughs> feel like you can't have a game about ordering pizza without pineapple, even as a joke. You know what? Maybe that option will unlock soon because uh, in the in the first loop there wasn't even an option for gluten-free crust and um, or uh, half options on the pizza. So I feel like it might it might unlock in a few more loops. But let's see. 
Let's see where we go. <laughs> All right, back into this. How's school, Abby? Fine, I guess. Are we ordering this pizza or what? You're still here, kid. What are you doing? I'm a little busy right now. I'm a little busy right now. Okay, all right. Well, let's see. They're, they're both, they're both mad at me again. My God, Abby. Are you feeling okay? Are you back to normal? Say something Abby would say. God, Dad. Oh, thank God it's you. Yeah, it's me. I'm sorry, did you finally realize your daughter is here? Oh. Are you too busy fucking your new girlfriend to notice? You're the reason I fuck up at school. Just look at this place. It's an embarrassment. You're a grown man. How can you live in this shoebox? And it's so fucking obvious that your girlfriend is out of your league and is using you. Oh. It's not gonna last, and when it ends, you'll be all alone and wishing that you never left mom. Wow. <laughs> you don't like lamb and fish? <laughs> Man, Abby is going in hard on this. Abby? I hate you! Jesus, that's quite a daughter you've raised. Wow, Margo's not too happy with me either. I'm so glad she's not mine because I would be ashamed. Whoa, why did you think this would ever work? Okay, all right, we're definitely in the bad loop. Oh, because he's a lazy, conceited, tactless jerk. Wow, ganging up on me this time around. All right, well, let's see, let's see what uh, Margo has to say. Margo, what's happening? I keep reliving the same moment over and over again. It's like a waking nightmare. Welcome to my life. I have a boyfriend that keeps making the same mistakes over and over again. He can't move forward with his life. So he keeps the women in his life in an endless cycle of disappointment. Margo, I knew there wasn't any room for me in your life. You'll always choose your daughter. You treat her like the little girl she was. But now she's just a fucked up adult like you. Wow. This is... Having us meet now is a joke. Wow, this is a particularly brutal loop. And this kid is just sitting on my sink looking at his phone. Like your new girlfriend could ever know me even if she tried. You don't even know me. You only remember a version of me that was scared that every moment we had together would be the last. Pathetic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy let's uh let's go and uh uncover new clues from this board shall we all right let's take a look at the receipt i remember when margo had food poisoning and i told her i had to leave early for work i felt horrible about it afterwards even though she said it was all right last year i went on a work trip where i got drunk on an outing and came on to one of my colleagues it didn't lead to anything when she turned me down. If she had been into it, I probably would have gone through with it, even though I was with Margo at the time. What does that say about me? Man! So, already, uh, we've already gotten, uh, Dad's background, you know, he dropped out of high school, he went to juvie, um, he's worried that Abby is going down the same path, and, uh, even still, even still, he's, uh... He's trying his best, but he still has uh, some shitlord tendencies. And you know what? Maybe this loop is just him trying to... Uh, it's uh, This loop is finally calling him out for all of his bullshit. <laughs> Fuck it, let's get some KFC or something. Willie, I have never been more with you on that. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm actually uh, planning on uh, picking up a bucket of something for myself. Popeyes is within walking distance. KFC is a little further, but um we'll see we'll see what I'm in the mood for after after this stream. Oh yeah, let's uh see what's on the calendar. I can't keep count of how many times I've forgotten Abby's birthday and blamed it on work. Last time Margo saved my ass by picking up a present for her. Yeah, I'm very forgetful. My girlfriend is basically handling all of my shit for me. Um, yeah. Understandably, she's mad. 
You have anything else to say? Gonna order that pizza now or what? Let's see the drawing. I wasn't there for Abby's birth. I was at a meeting that I thought was important at the time. Abby's mom was furious, but I insisted that I was doing it for them. Wow, not even there for your daughter's birth, huh? Real piece of work, Pops. I forgot about Abby's weekend again. I kick out a woman who spent the night when she showed up. Whoa, okay, so you you are cheating on Margo right now too? Yeah. Of course you're a little shithead. I told Abby she was just a friend from work. I wish I had come up with a better lie. Maybe stop lying so much, dude. Report card. When Abby came to my place with her worst report card yet, we got into a huge fight. I tried to ground her, but she just called me an asshole and went back to her mother's house. Order that pizza now or what? What do you want on your pizza? <laughs> just fucking poison it so I never have to order another pizza with you again. Yeah, just put us out of our misery already. Holy shit. Ooh, Louisiana famous chicken. Yeah, Anthony, that's uh, I've been seeing that on my drive home recently, and that looks pretty fire. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm looking into uh, maybe getting that. Um, Cause that's on, that's on Postmates. But uh, definitely not looking to drive uh, today though. <laughs> But yeah, future synthetic. I'm beginning to think a pizza might not fix this. Yeah, I'm thinking. A, I'm thinking a pizza is not gonna fix um, a lot of these underlying issues. Um, there's only so many toppings that can bring a family together. <laughs> you did it. What do you want on your pizza? Okay, just fucking put. Okay. All right. Ah. Let's, uh, they just, okay. The same conversation on both sides. Well, this, this laptop is open now. Let's order the pizza. And, yeah, that, that, okay. <laughs> this moldy ass pizza. Yeah, let's just, let's just load it up, baby. <laughs> Yeah, th this family could use a blunt. I think uh, that everyone involved in this room could use a blunt. But let's see. All right, you know what? Let's go with uh, the dealer's choice. Ours. Oh, okay. It's all on there already. Okay, cool. Arsenic, lead, anthrax, and bleach. Yeah. Num num. I really thought poisoning everyone would end this terrible loop. Ah, I should have made it basic. Now that I say that out loud, that's pretty dark. What have I done? Well, I'm gonna die from the poison now. This doesn't work next time. I'll try not putting poison on the pizza. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So our, so okay. Same loop. Same loop with a uh, plain pizza. Okay. All right. That pizza is ready to order. Laptop is fired up and ready to go. And yeah, let's <laughs> ordering your pie from Groundhog Day Pizza. Yeah, this is exactly what we've gotten ourselves into, Future Synthetic. We, it's Groundhog. It's Groundhog Pizza Day. Every day. We're just trying to get this pizza together. All right, so let's get no poisons on there. Let's have a nice plane. Hopefully it is a gluten-free so that Margot doesn't die, but we'll order that. Will this waking nightmare never end? I've lost track of how many pizzas I've ordered. I think we're at five or six right now, if we're looking at the ending count. Deep down, I always knew that that was how they felt about me. But hearing it out loud was so crushing. I'm ashamed to admit this, 
but it took me all my willpower not to end it all right then and poison everyone. <laughs> but I can fix this. I know I can. What is this accursed uh, pizza website doing with all of these with all of these options on the pizza? Is what I want to know. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> oh god, the pizza's in the window's just pizza. Pizza. Uh. <laughs> oh god, please make it end. Pizza. <laughs> What the hell is happening? Pizza, pizza, pizza! Pizza! D goodbye, Abby. Pizza! <laughs> Margo? Margo, I think I'm going insane. Pizza! <laughs> Someone help! Pizza, pizza. Pizza! Goodbye, Margo. Pizza! <laughs> Well, the kid's gone, but now there's just giant pizza in the window. I gotta get someone up here to clean this up. I don't think anyone's gonna be able to clean up this mess. Being John Pizzavich. Yeah, we, we, we've entered, we've entered the mind of pizza, future synthetic. Uh, we are seeing this scenario from the viewpoint of pizza. Gotta get someone up here to clean this up. Uh, alright, look at the board. Let's look at the receipt. I want to put two slices together on... <laughs> I want to put two slices together on top of the other so I can eat them both at the same time. That's... That's the receipt for that prescription now. Uh, the note? The first time I saw Margo, I knew right away we were pizza. She was the mozzarella to my pepperoni. <laughs> Oh god, mozzarella to my pepperoni. That's that's quite cheesy. <laughs> Who knows? I'm not too familiar with Stella. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a Stella reference, though. St. Patrick's Day. Pizza. Christmas Day. Pizza. Ash Wednesday. Pizza. Pizza day, pizza, 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 pizza. We have officially entered the pizza dimension. We are in pizza hell right now, gang. But hey, look, at least, uh, at least everyone involved seems to be happy about it. Take a look at the fridge. All I've ever wanted for Abby is to be the best pizza she could be. I've just had a serious thought. Pizza. I've got to write this down. Report card. Recipe for burrito pizza. Roll up a slice of pizza like a burrito and eat it. <laughs> Ooh, thank you for that link in chat, Willie. I'm going to have to check out that uh, Stella sketch um, to see where this uh, pizza reference is going. Maybe the toppings for pizza this time will be pizza. I'm absolutely hoping that it's gonna just say pizza. Let's let's take a look. Let's order a pizza. Let's get a pizza on this pizza. <laughs> pizza. Yes. Pizza. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Is that too much pizza, or is that enough pizza, or not enough? I'm not too sure. But you know what? Let's load it up. Fractal pizza. I would love pizza on my pizza. In fact, I'm thinking one of these days, I'm gonna have to go get a bunch of, uh... Ooh, look at that. Listen to that menacing bass line while we're trying to order this pizza, pizza, pizza. Now, should we get this plain or should we make this as loaded as possible? <laughs> oh, okay. Menacing bass line. 
Oh uh, yeah, let's order the uh the Uber pizza and see where that goes. When I open the pizza box, I look inside and all I see is me. Am I pizza? Or is pizza me? When the sun comes up, that sun is a pizza. When the moon hits my eye, it's a big pizza pie. But it's not amore. <laughs> I think I've lost my mind. This can't be real! I'm so sorry, Abby. I'm sorry, Margo. I thought I could make things work out. I never meant for any of this. I'm slipping away now. We need to talk. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Let's talk. Margo? Do you want me in your life or not? What do you mean? I feel like I've thought more about meeting your daughter than you have. Are you trying to sabotage this? I've been wanting to meet Abby for a long time. I've been trying so hard to do the right thing and make this work. And this is how you introduce us? Making me the bad guy? Whoa. That's like his thing. He can't be the bad guy. He has to be the fun, carefree dad. He's really just casual about it. About other people's feelings. When I started dating you, I really wanted to be a part of your life. Not just a vacation from it. Who? Tense. When Gregor Samsa awoke in the morning, he found he had been transformed into a big pizza. Oh yeah, it looks like we're making progress. At least we are out of pizza hell. Let's see what Abby has to say. This is different. Any other night, Dad. What? I would have been happy to meet your girlfriend any other night. You have to choose our night. When you and Mom split, I lost all my rituals with you. And then we made a new one. Pizza night. But now it's like we're losing this one too. I want to be a part of your life, but you have to make room for me. And sometimes just me. Abby, I had no idea. That's the problem! To you it's just another night of eating pizza and watching movies. And the pizza part was probably just a lame excuse not to cook dinner, but now it's so much more. I'm sorry, Abby. I kinda figured that was how you felt. I really wanted to meet you, but... I just hate that you're making us have to fight over you. It's so messed up. Okay, we're... We're back to uh, awkward, awkward family meeting mode. Let's take a look at uh, seeing if uh, we find some new clues here. I think back to all the mistakes I've made. I wonder if it would have been easier for Abby if I had never been in her life. Maybe at one point Abby really needed a dad. But I missed that opportunity and it's, and it's too late now. The parts of Abby that take after me I don't like. The parts of her that take after her mother remind me of... I don't want to think about it. Future Synthetic, I'm I'm absolutely with you on that theory. The cell phone kid, I got a huge feeling that that cell phone kid is the entity. Maybe it's a younger version of the dad. Maybe it's a future son of uh, the dad and Margo. Who knows? But yeah, I definitely feel like he's pulling the strings in this uh, in this loop of pizza. All right, Take a look at the board, receipt. I like being with Margo. Why am I so scared to let her live here? I don't want to make the same mistakes I did with my ex-wife with Margo. All the days I could have been spending with Margo and Abby feel like they've been wasted. Yeah, wasted trying to figure out this pizza. The window? Am I dead? Is this... it? 
Yeah, this this sounds like a, this feels like a pizza purgatory. But yeah, let's let's order this pizza. Okay. Let's see. Please. Ooh, I really don't like it when that happens. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yeah, the kid is definitely an entity. Confirmed. It's you. It is I. Who are you? I'm the living embodiment of all the pizza on Earth. Some call me the pizza god. Some call me the immortal spirit of the cheesy za. Others call me Jeremy. Are you kidding me? This is about pizza all along? It's not about pizza. It's about, you know, love, basically. What the hell is this? You put too much pressure on pizza, bro. You broke the pizza time continuum. Yeah, you know what? He does have a point. I was really riding on that pizza to bring uh, my daughter and new girlfriend together. And... You know what? That's not... That's not what pizza's for. Pizza's just to have yourself a good time and enjoy it. You can't fix relationships with pizza. <laughs> that's the pizza delivery boy. Jeremy is every pizza delivery boy and every pizza you've ever encountered in your life. Don't get me wrong. No one understands pizza's mighty powers as much as I. But some things pizza can't fix... I just thought if I ordered the right pizza, I feel like I shouldn't have to tell you this. But you can't solve all your problems with pizza. Jeremy is absolutely right there. He absolutely has a point. Sometimes you actually, you have to actually like, put in some work. Is that why I've been reliving the same moments? Time is like a flat circle. Okay, that, that's, well, that's definitely a true detective uh, reference, which I still need to finish up. Of dough, with sauce and cheese and other things. It's a pizza. I've kept you here in this cycle to stop you from making a terrible mistake. I've shown you your worst fears, your most base desires, and just some weird shit for flavor. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah that that arsenic and bleach is uh, definitely uh, some flavor there. It's like a legit story with a journey and everything. And the moral is, if you had kept, like, ignoring the people you love, you'd end up losing them. No. So you figured it out. Thanks to me. Your time on Earth is limited. Unlike me, an immortal being. You also can't reverse time like I can. You're also not as good looking as I am. Debatable, but alright, Jeremy. Okay. I get it. Do you? You better. God. What do I do now? Go back to them. Be honest with them. Be grateful for them. Don't be afraid to be a bit cheesy. <laughs> oh. And don't make someone with celiac have to eat gluten. Yeah, no, I didn't know that the first time around. I've been doing everything celiac for you when the option is available. Please. Please, Jeremy. I'm doing my best. That's just cruel, bro. Just to be clear, I'm sending you back now. And this is your last chance. So maybe don't fuck it up. Okay, alright. Last chance, huh? So, how's school, Abby? Fine, I guess. So are we ordering this pizza or what? Oh my god! Margo! Abby! Um... What? Abby, you are my life. I feel like we've been growing apart, but instead of dealing with it, I've been ignoring the problem. I don't want to lose you. I know that you're a... woman now. And that's gonna change our relationship. Dad, stop. Please, it's okay. Oh, look, she got a little smile going. No, it's not okay. I wanted you to meet Margot, but I didn't respect the thing we had. I love watching bad movies and eating pizza with you. But most of all, I love you. Dad, I... 
Abby, please give Margo another chance. It's not her fault I'm an idiot. Okay, Dad. Will. Margo, when my marriage fell apart, I didn't think I'd ever feel whole again. I know I've been ignoring how much you wanted to meet Abby for a long time. The fact that you want to be a part of my life with all its complications is what makes you great. But it was also scary. Oh. Are you okay? I'm not okay, I'm an idiot. You deserve better. But until you realize that, I'm gonna try to be better. Oh, huh. I know I sound crazy, but you two have no idea what I've been through tonight. I've seen some stuff you wouldn't believe. It's made me realize how important you both are to me. That's so... Lame. <laughs> so are we gonna order this pizza or what? Okay, well no clues. It's gonna order this pizza now, huh? Order a pizza, the visual novel. All right. Now look at that. Wrapped up in about an hour. A Rocket Adrift game. Uh, this was available on the uh, itch.io bundle for racial justice and equality um, that uh, came out during the summer. And there's been a lot of great choices available on there. And uh, I'm definitely going to be looking through a bunch of them soon. But uh, yeah. Let's take a look at some of those endings. Fail eight, huh? All right, so it looks like <laughs> pizza beams glittering off the townhouse gate. The future has been repaired. Let's see. But yeah, um, just want to do a quick little stream uh, for now. Um, I think that's going to wrap it up. I'm starting to get a little peckish. I might be back later tonight. Um, but if I'm not, have a happy new year, everyone. I hope that you're keeping safe and uh, as isolated as you can uh, during this time as we roll into 2021. This has absolutely been a slice future synthetic. I'm so glad uh, y'all have uh, joined me today for this uh, this little this little bite. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I'll definitely be back um, at some point soon. But if I don't see you tonight, happy new year, and I will see you in the new year. Let me go ahead and. Uh, Let's see if there's anyone I can raid right now. Looks like uh, the Beatus, um, Diabetes, one of the uh, uh, one half of Retsu Pure, one of the original Let's players, is looks like he's going through Hades right now. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be raiding him, and uh, let's see, uh, and um, I'll let you know when I'm back later. So. Thank you so much, gang. Have a great evening, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.